Oh, there's another. There's another. <laughs> there's another. There's a bunch of babies. Six, six. Six. Nope, six. What is up? I am headed to my second removal of the day. This one is for a gopher snake at a front door. It was called in as a rattlesnake, uh, but as I was talking to the gentleman on the phone, he said, I have a picture of it. I can send it to you so you know where it is. And I said, I would appreciate that. And then when he sent the picture, uh, you can clearly see the tail, and there's no rattle. So, uh, despite the rumors and social media posts that say rattlesnakes are evolving to not have rattles or to not rattle, that's just not true. All rattlesnakes have rattles. All right, people, I'm here at the house that had the gopher snake. I think I see him still. Yep, there he is. That is a gopher snake, for sure. Oh, he's hissing. Oh, he's mad. He must be really hot. Come on out. Come on out. I know, buddy. You're probably very warm, aren't you? Come on. Let's get you out of here. Oh, no, no, no. This is the last place we want you to go. There we go. Okay. So, we would usually just grab him, but I don't want to touch that spider yet. Alright, got him. Perfect. Oh, no, 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 Come on. Stop this. Stop this nonsense. Should have had the lid. Should have had the lid in hand. Stop that. Good. Alright. We're good. Cool. So, average, normal looking gopher snake, if not a little bit smaller than usual. Normal pattern. Obviously, looks very similar to a rattlesnake. Easily confused, but no rattle on the tail. That means it's not a rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes always have rattles. Hey everyone, back to Scottsdale I go. Got a rattlesnake in the backyard. A uh, lady said it's it's in a, she can see its tail coming out of a tube that's like by her pool equipment, I think she said. I don't know, I was kind of confused to be honest. Um, but it's in there and she says it's a rattlesnake. Um, so hopefully I can get it out. Um, I'm sure it won't be too hard. But yeah, I'm just about to pull up here in the next five minutes. So let's go. How you doing? Fun job. I know it We're gonna go that way. never gets There's old. Dogs that are gonna bark like that. Okay, that's fine. So he's just hanging out in some tube, huh? Well, he's under the tube. Under a tube. But I just saw a couple little heads come out of the tube. Couple? Well, I saw one and I saw another. Oh, interesting. I don't know whether maybe mommy and a baby protecting the family. Maybe, maybe we, <laughs> maybe we got this. Could be really interesting. <laughs> um, so I was uh, fiddling with the pool pump. Uh huh. I was like, oh shoot. And it's right there in front of me. I'm like, oh. Oh, I really shouldn't be here. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Hi. How you guys doing? Well, better. <laughs> so under that too. Oh, okay. And then. Puts up against that wall. Is not connected or anything? No. It, it actually was here. We just moved in like six months ago. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, there's a baby on the outside. There's a, on the outside? There's a baby, yeah. 
Oh, there's another. There's another. <laughs> there's another. There's a bunch of babies. Are they little babies? They're all little. You guys want to see them before I grab them? Yeah. No. They don't hurt you. There's one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Oh, I see the baby. Yeah. Look, <laughs> oh, come, my come over here and lean over right here. They, they won't get you. Come lean over here. Don't go step. I don't want you. No, you won't. No, they're curled up. Come on, dog, right here. Yeah, I promise. They're, they're just they're just chilling. Wow, yeah. mom and babes. Oh, God. One, two, three, and I think yeah, there's some in the tube. Some in the tube, okay. Yeah, How many do they usually have? Uh, two to twelve, so we'll see. Oh, oh. one, two, three, I see one, two, four. three, four, five. I think there's two right there. Maybe five? Maybe, maybe. We'll see. This is exciting. Let me get a picture of it. Some babies. Six, six, six. Nope. Okay. okay, I'm just gonna let her out and then get her babies. Mom, stop it. Did she go in it? Okay, that's fine. I just didn't want her to strike her babies because she could, if she struck and hit them, she could kill them. So I'll get them first since she's crazy. Looks like all the babies on the outside. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mom's in there and see how many more babies are in there. I'm gonna dump her out. Yeah, I know you're in there. Come on out. Didn't look like it. Yeah, maybe it came out. Okay. Peek over. Oh, great. She's a little happier now when she got her babies. Ooh, a little pack rat was living in there, in your tube. Look at the one crawling on her. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Just like every mama and her babies. <laughs> now, there wouldn't be any like under a thing over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna look around just because, yeah, I think. I don't know if they all stick Usually together. Usually they stick together uh, until they all shed and then they leave. So they, she might have been here for a few days. Let's put that over the fence, Annie. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna look around and see if anyone else is here. Steven is asking whether I've noticed any one particular myth or misconception about rattlesnakes cropping up more often than others or just being stubbornly pervasive as any others. The, the biggest problem perpetually is just the idea of rattlesnake aggression. Um, all it takes is one person to say that a rattlesnake chased them and all their trusted friends and everyone else can, can have a, a, a lifelong problem with rattlesnakes based on something that um, doesn't really happen. And if you're a herper and you're standing there in the roadway at night putting a flashlight at something and touching it with a hook and all that and it moves towards you in some way while you're standing there looking at it, you didn't get chased. You are part of a defensive process that's there. We're talking about somebody walking down a trail and a rattlesnake sees them and comes after them and chases them away. No. Um, one that's really annoying lately is the growth and spreading of the idea that rattlesnakes are evolving to rattle less or not rattling anymore or their tail is uh, atrophied is the word um, because of human involvement. This is popping up in Texas uh, all throughout the west in the Dakotas notably because this showed up in an NPR article uh, which of course at the bottom um, has the line we talked to a state herpetologist and he says there's no evidence to support this. That's an interesting one. If you haven't heard of that one yet that rattlesnakes are evolving not to rattle anymore you will at some point and there is no evidence to support that this is happening at all. There are a lot of myths. <laughs> These are just the top two today that I heard from somebody. They do get annoying when you hear the same thing over and over again. All right, people, I'm out here 
in the heat of the day. Sorry if I'm sweaty. I'm gonna make this quick though, both for my sake and for yours, and because the GoPro is low on battery. Got a nice rock pile right here. Release this gopher snake in. Very similar habitat to the artificial tab habitat she chose to use, which was the front door, like underneath the door jam and stuff. Um, but she'll enjoy this. There's evidence of rodents around and this will provide nice good cover until the sun goes down and cools down enough to the point where she can move around. Um, but it's very hot out right now, as you can see. The snake is very twitchy and fast and just wants to go find some cover and she's going completely the wrong way. That's okay though. Oh look, right there. She found a hole. So she's gonna go in that hole and cool down. And let's go all the way in, lady. There we go. So you can see she disappeared in there. Probably connects somewhere right here. Um, but rest assured, she's deep enough in those rocks. And now I'm gonna go back down this hill and cool the hell down. Otherwise, I might pass out. All right, we got mom, which is still fired up. I'm gonna let her go first, and she is fired up. Look at these little ones. Oh my goodness. Look at how tiny. You guys are so cute. They kind of look like they are about to shed. They look a little foggy, their skin. So she must have had them several days ago, um, which is kind of frightening because they have two dogs in their yard. One, two, three, four, five. Five snakies. All right, look at the little ones. I mean, they're kind of big already. Good. That's why I think they're a little older. Okay. Well, some are big. This one's kind of big. All right, let's switch. Mommy. Down in there. With mom. Another mom and baby call. That was cool. I didn't expect it. Mom and five babies. And those ones look like they're about to shed. So they probably would have left mom here very soon. So thankfully they found uh, her and the babies when they did because once they leave, it's just, it's a lot harder. You know, you'll get babies all over the yard and they have two dogs. So I'm really thankful the dogs didn't go sniffing around and uh, find her. She was pretty fired up. So she likely would have struck at anything. Um, she, she was not happy, especially when I was trying to put her in that bucket without her babies. So now they're all together in that pack rat nest and uh, all is well. So that was cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.